Hi Scorpio friends, welcome to Tarot Readings by Roxby. I am going to do your monthly love reading. Now I'm going to do it the same way that I did last year. I was thinking about it. I'm going to run it from November 15th to December 15th, 2017. That way you guys will get it literally right before Christmas. You'll get a reading. And last year I remember... It just turned out amazing for so many of you. So, I don't even know what I was thinking when I was going to just put out a November reading and a December. I want you guys to get it closer to Christmas. All right, so this is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising Signs. You can look at your Venus sign for love. I am using Tarot of Sexual Magic. Scorpio, just um, keep in mind if it doesn't resonate, you know, look at your moon, your rising sign, your Venus sign. Those of you that don't know it, in the description box, right underneath the video, um, there is a link to a birth chart there that I feel is one of the best out there, probably the best out there. Um, that will give you all of that for free. And those of you that would like a private reading, connect with me on Facebook, on Instagram, I... Draw and upload a daily oracle card message every single day. Facebook, I do contests for free readings like all the time. Every time I hit a thousand subscribers on YouTube, I pick a winner for a hundred and twenty-five dollar reading done in the Celtic Cross spread. So I would love to have you guys follow me there. Well, your cards are flowing nice here, Scorpio. That's it. Perfect. Wow. All right, Scorpio. Wow, beautiful. The stars. Maybe some of you are dealing with an Aquarius. The star card for me is also Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. You know, maybe other readers agree, maybe others don't. I don't. It doesn't matter. It's ridiculous to narrow the star card to Aquarius. It is in books. Yes, I still work. I keep myself current. It is ridiculous. And it's in books to limit the star card to just Aquarius when I have over 100 decks. No exaggeration. Look at my Facebook page. The star card is embossed in an ocean of water, okay? And there's water here, so. And even in my private readings, 97, 98% of the time, it's never an Aquarius. It's usually a water sign. But, you know, take it for what it is, you know. Okay, Nine of Wands. This is also in this deck, um, attraction. This is wanting to take care of somebody. And also, um, I don't read these cards in the reverse. They're not the same meanings as in your traditional tarot decks. It's a very difficult deck to read. So as of right now, only in the upright. Okay, the King of Pentacles. For some of you, uh, maybe an earth sign is important this month. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. For some of you, maybe a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And there's you. Two of Cups. Beautiful. Scorpio, most importantly, those of you that are celebrating birthdays, happy, happy birthday. To all of you, I hope you have a beautiful birthday. Wow, okay. So, this is your overall energy for the month, the Six of Wands. So, those of you that are already in a relationship or you're dating, there is a strong sense here that you're going to be grow growing um, closer to that person. Very interesting. The Knight of Pentacles is under here too. Wow. And so is the Ace of Pentacles. So 
there's definitely an earth sign around you guys. I feel that's important. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Or maybe someone from the past. Guys, no gender either. Private readings, that matters for me. General readings, it does not. You know, those of you that are new, welcome. And really, thank you so much for taking the time to um, to be here and subscribe. But there is, there is really a strong sense here that your relationship will absolutely be growing stronger this month, deepening that bond, spending a lot of time together. Growing closer to another person. You know, the star card, like I said, it is about attraction. There could be someone coming in this month, Scorpio, and this person has a very, very strong attraction to you. And at the current situation for the month, with the King of Pentacles, some of you definitely could be dealing with an Earth sign, person, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Um, you know, this, this person would be very stable, you know, grounded, successful, a business owner. Usually. It could be someone that you meet. Someone new that you meet. But has a very intimidating way about them. If this is someone coming back from your past. Or, or someone you meet that is stable. But definitely has a very intimidating way about them. Could even be just your partner and you could even be a little bit fearful of them. Now, I'm not saying that in a negative way. You know, just that their presence seems to be... It's kind of... You know, it's not that they're cold... But they just could be silent and, and a little bit distant with their emotions. And it can and it and it could cause you to feel like they really don't care. But I do feel strongly that they do care. Or they will if you meet them this month. You know, with the star card at the beginning of the month, you know, there is an, a very strong attraction that's building. And then, you know, you have the Nine of Wands. And this is about you know, taking care of someone, being there for someone, you know, caressing. You know, for some of you, I do feel like you will meet up with someone. Or... If this is your partner, there, there's going to be a lot of um, sexual intimacy, even just a lot of affection. You know, and it does coincide with this attraction here. Some of you might even be having trouble, you know, within your relationships. Or... If you have been single for a while, there could be someone that really has this big attraction toward you. And they do want to get close to you. They want to be intimate with you. But I feel like their presence will really be felt in the middle of the month. And I honestly, I don't see you turning them away. I don't see you turning away any advances. I just don't. Those of you, you know, that are with a partner, 
and there was some arguing not you know just not getting along there's absolutely makeup sex here and those of you that possibly have someone coming back from the past and you have, you know that you have no interest in getting back together with I think they are going to be expressing that they want to get back together with you, that they want to get close to you. And I feel like they've realized things about the past. Now, for some of you, I mean, a, a very small amount of you, this person could be looking, you know, to just hook up toward the end of the month. You know, we have the, we have the Knight of Wands. But I'm going to be honest, guys, I don't feel like this is a person. You know, you could be a Scorpio with Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo in your chart. A water sign. Did I? What did I just say? You could be a water sign. Yeah, with fire in your chart. Or earth in your chart. But I just, I feel like this is an energy. I just don't feel like this is a, another fire sign. I just don't feel like it's a person. Because there's a lot of aggressive energy here you know and this night is more a, a, of an energy you know someone that is is going to be a little bit more aggressive and, and there's going to be a lot of embracing between the two of you with with this knight of wands And they're they're embracing each other. So I mean, I do feel if this is um, a booty call for some of you, I, I feel like you are going to really go for it with this earth sign person. And you know, with the Knight of Pentacles being under this, this is someone that is a friend. You know them. And you know, with the Ace of Pentacles, you could be absolutely finally coming full circle. Because I already feel a soulmate energy here, but we'll get to that. And with the Ace of Pentacles, I mean, this would be it. This is the new beginning. This is your wish come true. You know this person. There's just a friend, but I also get the feeling that they don't know. Nobody knows. I don't know why, but... Because this is a wish. I think that's why I'm, I'm feeling that. That you want. Because you're coming into the reading with the star card. Which is attraction. But also a wish. Um... And there's just a lot of aggressive energy here. But the Knight of Wands is just more of an energy. Of someone that is just going to be a little bit more aggressive. And there, and there will be embracing. But if it's this booty call, you're going to go with this earth sign person. If it's someone that you know that, that that's... This is really going to catch you off guard. 
especially if it's a friend. I mean, it's just really just going to be like, you're going to be like, what? It's really kind of cute, really. It is going to catch you off guard because with the Knight of Pentacles, I said earlier, you know, that element of intimidation coming through could really just make you feel like, you know, where the hell is this coming from? You know, this is not what I expected from you. You know, it could really take you off guard. I mean, when you look at the Knight of when you when you look at the Knight of Pentacles and how this this person is approaching you, you know you are catching this person off guard. Definitely. And, and it really could either make you or, or this earth sign really feel like that. You know, maybe even some of you just feel shy. You know, it could even just be that. You just feel maybe even a little bit shy. But by the end of the month, Scorpio, I mean, you know, the Two of Cups. I mean, this is two people you know, that are really in love. You know, coming together, this you know, could absolutely be a rekindling of an old flame, rekindling your current relationships. You know, even if it is a, a quick booty call. For some of you, a quick booty call situation. I feel like the two of you have a deep connection or will have toward the end of the month. Some kind of connection. It will be that feeling that you're bonding. You know, the feelings will deepen. And it could really take you by surprise. And it's, and it's not just... You, the other person feels the same exact way. You know, it's like you're both realizing, you know, that the passion, connection, you know, is very strong. There's a lot of, of caressing and embracing here. You know, for those of you that are, that, that are hoping and wishing for someone to come back, it is absolutely possible for some of you this month. They want to be physically intimate with you. And you will you will definitely be allowing that to happen. Even if you don't really want to. Now I feel like in some way they're going to like overtake you. You know, they're they're going to be expressing themselves somehow to you. Or expressing that they have this big attraction toward you. You know, they want to be in your presence, they want to touch you. They want to have physical contact with you. And again, no gender. I mean, it's another person. And you're definitely getting together with this person this month. It is pretty straightforward. This really could be a twin flame soulmate relationship. With someone that you really bond with. Or you have bonded with in the past. 
and now probably taking that relationship to the next level, spending a lot of time together, deepening that bond. For some of you, it, it literally, it goes from platonic to really deepening that bond. It's really very beautiful. It really looks like an amazing month of intimacy and a lot of expressing like um, sexual expressions opening up to opening up to each other like big time it's it's beautiful I like it. Okay. Let me get your Romance Angel card just for additional guidance. Two cards. This one flipped up. All right. So we have passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Yep. Um, embracing. You're, you're going to go for it. This looks a little familiar here, right? Yep. Definitely an earth sign. I'm convinced of it. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. <laughs> that is your soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. Wow. It's not just here, it's here too. Scorpio, wow. That's just beautiful. Two weeks in a row. I'm excited. I don't remember exactly what your reading was last week. I mean, once I'm done with it, I, I forget. I do so many readings a week. It's, it's insane. But, uh, I do remember it was good. Awesome. Congratulations. Beautiful. Happy birthday. I hope it helps you guys out for the month. If not, you know, absolutely look at your moon, your rising signs. But, um, have a great month, Scorpio. But I will see you guys back here shortly. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.